You want to learn how to put together this beautiful swag for Halloween done with all Dollar Tree items and a recycled garland? Keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Ramon. Welcome back to Ramon at Home. If you're new to this channel, let me give you a warm welcome and let you know that I'm an interior designer, seasonal decorator, and DIYer who wants to help you make your home your favorite place on earth. So please consider subscribing. On today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you can create this beautiful beware sign for your door for Halloween, done with all Dollar Tree items and a very small budget. So if you wanna see how this is done, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and share with your friends and leave me a comment down below and let me know which of this full series video has been your favorite so far. To see how this is done, let's head to the studio. All right, everyone, the materials we're gonna use for this fabulous Halloween swag are starting with that leftover Christmas wreath. You guys know I like to use Christmas wreaths and garlands for other projects. We're going to use this beware sign that came from the dollar store. We're also gonna use two rolls of the black deco material from the dollar store, as well as two rolls of this fabulous polka dot Halloween ribbon from the dollar store as well. We're gonna need four pipe cleaners in orange. It really doesn't matter what color, but I picked orange. We're gonna use a selection of ornaments and glitter pumpkins, as well as these salad tongs. You guys, these are super cute. These are actually for your salad, but we're gonna use it as a focal point in our beware um, wreath. And I absolutely love these guys right here. So we're gonna make sure we attach those. And for our tools, we're gonna use our scissors, our wire cutters, as well as our staplers. So let's get started. All right, you guys, so to get started, the very first thing we need to do is we need to remove the top layer of our wreath. I'll show you, this is what it looks like. It comes with two layers. And if you guys haven't seen the last swag that I made, I explained very well how you can take this off. So at this point, we just took the outer layer. We're gonna recycle our inner layer. And then we're gonna have this form right here. So what you need to do is you're just gonna go ahead and grab right here and twist. And that's gonna give us our loop to hang from the door like the, this. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and unite those two rows just by twisting some of the bristles together to make one instead of two. And it's gonna make a thicker one. So just by doing that, you have created yourself a swag. And after you do this, make sure that you go ahead and fluff this guy because we're going to need every single bristle to attach our deco mesh material as well as our ribbon. So once you have the swag like that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put that guy aside. And then what we're gonna do with this sign right here, we're gonna flip it inside out. And we're gonna go ahead and grab two of these pipe cleaners and we're gonna make a longer one. That way you can go around. So just basically twist like this and then you wanna twist to secure it. We're gonna do two of them to secure to our wreath. So once again, just twist around like this. Once you have it twist like that, go ahead with another one and do like this, all right? So then what you need to do is you're gonna go ahead and put them down and with your stapler, you're gonna go ahead and make sure that you staple these guys down like so. And that's gonna help us hang on to our wreath form or our swag. That way you flip it around and we're gonna go ahead and tie this together. But to do that, let's go ahead and go to the studio and I'll show you guys the next step. All right, everyone. So now that we have our swag all fluffed out and in our easel stand, what we need to do is we're gonna go ahead and do a layer of this deco material from the dollar store. And if you guys haven't seen, when I did the uh, Mr. Bones uh, wreath, it's going to be basically the same technique but in this case, I really want to come out of the wreath because the plaque is going to go in the middle. So I really wanna make sure that those poofs are really pronounced like this. And so we're gonna go around all the way around just by twisting our bristles. You can either stop right here or you can keep going around. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up so I can really extend the shape of this uh, form. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this step just by doing poofs like this. You can always twist them around like so. And I will be back with you guys to show you what the two rows of deco mesh look like on this particular swag. I'll be right back. 
All right, everyone. So basically what I did is I just went around doing loops about six to eight inches and attaching with the own bristles. And I went around twice and in the middle once. You don't want to really get too full in the middle because that's where our plaque is going to go. So there's no need for it. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing with our ribbon. And I absolutely love, 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 love this polka dot Halloween ribbon from the Dollar Tree. So basically I'm just going to pinch right here. I'm going to look for some bristles and I'm going to attach. And once again, I want those poofs to be really pronounced so they really stick out because once we put our plaque right here, this is going to be the detail. So you basically do a little poof like this. And like always, I tell you, we'll worry about fluffing later. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just do little loops like this. So they are noticed from far, far away. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this full series. It is coming to an end. However, um, Christmas is coming. So we're going to have more videos coming for you. And I want you to leave me a comment down below. And let me know if you have enjoyed this full series like I have making it for you guys. So... Please leave me a comment down below. And notice how I always use my scissors and put them there. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time on this side right here. And if you're gonna have a tail, always make sure that you finish it. That way it is noticed and, and finished looking. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put, put that right here. We'll go ahead and fluff later, but I'm gonna go ahead and do another one right here. Just attach with the bristles. And then I'm going to attach one more time here. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same on the other side with the other roll of ribbon. And I'll be right back with you and show you the next step. All right, everyone. So now that we have our loops going both sides, and I want to mention something, actually two things. Somebody mentioned, why don't you spray paint the garland black? If you use enough deco mesh material, there is no need to spray paint it black. And then also you can recycle it for future projects for the holidays. That's number one. And number two, always notice that the ribbons need to be fluffed at the end. There is no need to try and make it perfect when well, you can always go back and redo it. So those are two very important points that I wanted to mention. So now that we have all of our loops in place, what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and attach our beware sign. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and kind of measure it like this. Then I'm going to take it off the stand and I'm just going to go ahead and pinch and bring those pipe cleaners that we attached earlier to the back and just go ahead and twist a really, really tight. All right. So that way it will stay in place and you need to do that on the top as well as on the bottom. Now I want to mention that when you have it twist like that secured, go ahead and grab another one of the bristles and twist that uh, pipe cleaner into the bristle that way it will stay in place and it will not go anywhere so we're going to bring those pipe cleaners back and then we're going to attach the second one right here and once again you can always go back and fluff the whole thing so look how i'm going to do this so basically just twist it and then with another bristle go ahead and grab that bristle and twist the pipe cleaner into the bristle and you just flatten them out then we're going to put this guy back into the stand. And so now we're going to go ahead and fluff these ribbons and make sure that they are all showing all of our tails. You want to bring it forward like this. You want to fluff your ribbons. So I'm going to take a second to fluff all of my ribbons and I'll be right back with you and show you what's next. Okay, so now that you have all of your ribbons fluffed out, your little bit wet plaque in place, what I want to get ahead is I attach these tongs. These are like salad tongs I absolutely love. And I actually would use this for salad if I was entertaining for Halloween. But what I did is I attached them together like this. And I'm going to go ahead and place them somewhere around here. So that way it has a little creepy but not so creepy detail to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab one of the bristles once again and just twist them in place. And once you twist that bristle, you guys, it is not going anywhere. So don't worry about it. Uh, I'm going to grab another one from the back. And that's why I love working with Christmas and wreath uh, garlands because they just have that material that is wired. And trust me when I say it, if you put it there, it's not going anywhere. All right, so as you guys can see, it just gives it that really whimsical uh, feel to it. But the next step I want to do is I want to go ahead and add some of these ornaments in orange and as well as black. And then I also have some of these glitter pumpkins that I'm going to add to it. So let me get my hot glue gun ready and I'll be right back with you. 
All right, everyone, so I have my hot glue done, and what I wanna do is I just wanna go ahead and add a little bit of glue, and then you wanna make sure that you put those ornaments. If there's any gaps that you wanna hide, that's what I would recommend, just like put them on places that would help you cover up. Just make sure you press a little bit, and that glue will stick to it. Then I wanna go ahead and add one of these beautiful pumpkins that we found at the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna add a little bit of glue right here. Make sure you like spread the glue with your glue gun so that way it has more of a place to stick. And if you guys see, just by placing it right there, you don't need to do much. And because I put one up there, I feel like we need to balance it out and put another one up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna kinda see where I want it to go. Then I'm gonna add some glue. And like I said, just spread it with your glue gun and go ahead and place that pumpkin right here. What do you guys think so far? Do you like it? It's such a cute project. I think the kids will really love it. Like so. Make sure that you press a little bit so that glue really sticks. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add just a few more of these uh, black ornaments. Like right here. And then also a few more oranges because the oranges really do stick out. I'm gonna do one here on the top. Like so. And I have a few more, so I'm just gonna add a few more as finishing touches. But I think we got it, you guys. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what do you think about this super easy and affordable project for Halloween. As you guys can see, creating your very own Halloween swag for your door does not have to break the bank and it is super easy and affordable, done with all Dollar Tree items. I absolutely love it, but I cannot wait to read your comments. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this particular project. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you already subscribed, don't forget to turn that notification bell on. And if you guys haven't seen the last swag that I did, I'm gonna link it up or you can watch more videos right now. Thank you and until next time, bye.